power on. Your headset is connected. The Kane TV Cuminic 8 is a wireless intercom system aimed at film crews. Depending on the setup, between 2 and 9 people can communicate in a range of up to 450 meters. The headsets can be switched on by pressing the zero button and will automatically be paired. But it's also possible to manually pair each device with a master headset. The devices are labeled with letters but don't have different colors to quickly tell them apart. The master headset doesn't look any different than the remote headsets. In this case the device that is labeled with the letter A is the master and has a red light when switched on compared to a blue light of the remote devices. The microphone is only activated when being pulled down. Once it's pulled up the mic is muted. The devices feature a voice that will say certain information, for example if a headset has connected successfully or the microphone is muted. While this is useful to avoid an accidental change of settings, it would also be good if there was a way to turn off the voice and just have a short audio signal instead, like when increasing the volume which is indicated by a simple beeping sound. Mute on. Mute off. Volume up. Volume down. While the units in our tests are for one ear only, the company also offers regular headphones with two speakers instead of one. I personally prefer the single ear headset since I am still able to clearly hear everything that is happening around me on set. Which type works best also depends on the kind of shoot. For example, if a video shooter is capturing a loud and busy live event, standing behind a tripod, getting instructions from a director, it's probably best to use two earpieces. But for most crew members, a one earpiece is often the better fit. While the master headset has a limit of being connected to a maximum of four remote headsets, KMTV also offers a hub that allows communication of up to 90 members. On our shoots and in our tests, the transmission range was reliable up to 250 meters to 300 meters outdoors and 80 meters to 200 meters indoors. As always with wireless systems, the distance depends on many factors such as objects, walls, but especially interference from other electronic systems. So it's hard to measure a specific distance because most locations don't have a clear line of sight. Sound quality is certainly one of the most important factors of a wireless audio system. While the voices can sound a bit muffled at long distances above 200 meters, the overall audio quality is rather good. The maximum volume is certainly loud, so it shouldn't be a problem to hear other crew members talking even on noisy locations. The headsets are well designed and feel very comfortable even when wearing them for multiple hours. Something to be aware of is that the over ear piece is rather large compared to some of the other systems on the market. The over ear piece has a very soft cushion that feels comfy on the ear. The pad that is placed on the opposite side above the ear also has such a cushion. Judging the wearability, shape and size of the headset is of course very subjective since every head and every ear is different. The microphone can be flipped down to the front but also the back which means the headset can be worn both ways with an over ear piece on the left or right side. The headrest and over ear piece can be folded inwards which decreases the rather large size. The build quality seems to be good even though most parts of the headsets are made from plastic. The weight with a battery inside is more than 250 grams which is neither heavy nor lightweight. When it comes to powering, the devices use Canon NB6LH battery packs. The removable batteries can be placed inside the headrest pad. The last 9 to 11 hours with the remote headsets and 8 to 9 hours with a master headset. So one battery pack per headset should be enough for an average day of filming. 
Overall, the Cumanic 8 is a reliable piece of technology, but there is also some room for improvement. While having voice information may be useful in some cases, it would certainly be good if it could be switched off or changed to a simple beeping sound instead. It would also be helpful to have easy to spot labeling on each headset to tell them apart quickly, especially the master headset. Nonetheless, the KMTV Cumanic 8 is a well-working intercom system that is comfortable to wear for multiple hours, has a solid audio signal and is easy to use. <laughs>